What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going over the Arizona State Fossil. Before we do though guys, I would like to drop some comments down below if you guys are from Arizona and if you guys know what it is, please do in the, drop in the comments down below and we'll see if you're right. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into this article. Like I was like, say though guys, I don't know the rights of these articles, I just use them to push long information. This particular article is from fossilera.com. Please go over there and show this some love. Arizona State Fossil, Petrified Wood, and I'm not not even going to try and do scientific names on this one, guys, because I will butcher all of them. In 1988, the Arizona State Register designated the petrified wood of, I guess I have to try and pronounce it, Aurocarix Aurocarioxylion Arizonicium, a prehistoric conifer as the Arizona State Fossil. Arizona is well known for its vast petrified forest, part of which lies within the bounds of the Petrified Forest National Park. During the late Triassic period, approximately 225 million years ago, northern Arizona had a tropical climate that supported a vast forest conifer trees. The majority of these trees were of the species Auricorixion arizonicum, a type of conifer that grew up to 200 feet tall with a trunk up to 5 feet thick. It likely would have resembled a modern pine tree. Occasionally, fallen trees would become buried in sediment and volcanic ash. Due to the rapid burial and lack of oxygen, the wood would not decay as it would if it had remained on the surface, silica, and other minerals dissolved in the ground, water absorbed into the porous wood over many years. This caused the cellular structure of the wood become crystallized and turning it into a fossil. Much of the Aurocorylexilon and petrified wood found in Arizona is known for its rainbow coloration with vibrant hues of reds, yellows, and purples. While the silica that replaced the original wood is clear, other minerals, in particular iron oxides, provide the color to the, petri or to the fossilized wood. Some of the most colorful petrified wood can be seen in the Petrified Forest National Park, which was established as a national monument in 1906 and made into a national park in 1962. Petrified wood is also the state fossils of North Dakota and Louisiana. So, a little bit of foreshadowing there. <laughs> and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, did y'all know that Arizona state fossil is petrified wood? And can anyone tell me how to pronounce it? Because I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. In particular, this word is really hard to pronounce. This aura crystallion. I... I don't know. It's more fun for me to just try, and you guys can make fun of me in the comments down below. But like I said, in those comments, let me know if you guys already knew that. Let me know if you were from Arizona and there's anything else from your state you would like for me to cover. And while you're down there, please remember to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you never miss another video from me. And like, follow me on all my other social medias, and I will see you guys in the next video.